Okay, hi there guys. Uh, so I got another battle here today. Uh, and this is against Tefailju. Uh, this cool guy called Jake. And uh, he's using his Pokemon Diamond or Pearl, I don't know which one. So he starts off sending out his Shiny Absol. So I send out my Hairy Arm. I get a Protect up. Uh, so that my flame orb, or whatever the hell it's called, I think it's called flame orb, kicks in without me getting any damage done to me. So he tries to go for a psycho cut, and obviously I protected. So then the uh, flame orb hits in, but yeah, flame orb. I'm thinking of changing it to a toxic orb. So he uses psycho cut, which I think he said had, because of all the stuff that he's done with Absol, had a 50% chance of actually getting a critical hit. It does a hell of a lot of damage, but it does not get a critical hit. And I use Facade, which means it's all over for Absol. There's no way he's going to survive that. So, I'm pretty happy at the moment, because I took out one of his Pokemon before he took out one of mine. And uh, I really didn't think I was going to win this battle uh, when I went into it. So I get hurt by it. I, so at, the, at this point, Harry Am is pretty useless. And especially now that he sends in Alakazam, which I'm surprised isn't OU, because it definitely should be. Uh... So I switch out to Rotom, uh, knowing that he would do a Psychic move, uh, and he does Psychic, and um, it really does a hell of a lot of damage to Rotom. And then he's faster than Rotom, which I thought was just completely ridiculous. So Rotom didn't get anything done, he just got completely destroyed. Um, so that was pretty... Stupid. So then I sent out my Cloyster. This badass. He goes for the Psychic. Uh, yeah, bye bye Cloyster. There's no way he's going to survive that. And that's why I gave Cloyster my uh, Focus Sash. So he hang, hung, hung on with his Focus Sash. And his special defense falls, which doesn't mean anything because he's on 1 HP. So it doesn't matter. So I get the Tox up. Toxic up on Akazam, so he's now poisoned. Uh, so he's hurt by poison, uh, which cancels out his leftovers, which is good. So he does another psychic. There's obviously no way of course to survive in that. Um, I was going to set up some spikes then, but. If like somehow he missed, but I, there wouldn't have been any way of him missing really. Uh, so yeah, he restores HP with leftovers, but then it is cancelled out by the poison. So I send out my Dax, which is my uh, Typhlosion. So he psychics it, which takes it down to about half health. I thought it was under health then because I didn't uh, win it during the battle. So I was like, oh fuck, I'm not going to be able to uh, take one of them again. So I use an Earthquake, gets him down pretty far. Another Earthquake would definitely take him out, thanks to the poison. I think it would have taken him out without the poison anyway. But, obviously this Agazan being is so stupid that it's faster than the Typhlosion. Uh, so he gets a Psychic off there. And I thought that was the end of my Typhlosion. But... He's a legend, and he hangs on with 2 HP. And I get another Earthquake off, and goodbye Alakazam. Thank fuck, got that out of the way. Uh, that is asshole of Pokemon. And Jake, I know you're watching this, and you should never fucking use that Pokemon up again. So then he sends out his Houndoom. Uh, and I'm faster than it. So I go for an Earthquake, and you know I was pretty happy, because I thought this would take it out. But it manages to hold on with a like, fair bit of health left. There's obviously nothing that I can do now uh, to keep my Typhlosion alive. So he is dead. And my and Jake's Houndoom is on low health. So I send out Gaffetay, which is my Pidgeot. Uh, I didn't properly mean to put this Pokemon in my team as well as another Pokemon that I'll show in a minute. So then he has his Drapion out. And uh, I got for Fly, because he's got really bad moves. And Drapion's actually faster than Pidgeot, which I 
which me and Jake both laughed at because uh, we didn't think it would be. So I used fly. Um, yeah, it takes up quite a chunk of his health, but not enough. I don't think. So then he was. So then he uses an ice fang. It doesn't really do that much. He tries to get the freeze on me, but he doesn't get it, thankfully. So I feather dance his ass, which lowers his attack. Well, half his attack apparently, uh, which is good uh, because uh, Ice Fang is a physical attacking move, I believe. Don't quote me on that, but I believe it is. So now I'm just like I'm gonna roost spam your ass. So I was just I was just setting up now to spam the shit out of roost. So I do one, and then I think to myself, oh well, that's quite enough, that's enough health, I don't need to do another one. So he switches out and sends out his Gengar. I mean, he has a freaking Gengar. Come on, Jake. And uh, I stand up into the air do a fly, not knowing that he actually had a Thunder. And I didn't know that Thunder hit them when they're in the air, and it does twice as much damage if they're in the air. And plus, it's pretty lucky that he got it. Um, because it's not a very accurate move. Uh, so I was like, fucking hell. Uh, there's no way that he would have survived that even if he was on the ground, but still, it's quite funny to see that, because you don't really see that much battles. So that was a good tactic there by Jake. So Gaff Tape's dead. Uh, I'm down now to my last two Pokemon. So I sent out Big Poffer, which is my victory battle, which I didn't even mean to put in the fucking team, which is annoying. So he uses a Shadow Ball on it. Uh, it does normal, but it actually does a lot of damage, and there's no way he's going to survive another one. And I'm such an idiot because I try and use cut here. I'm so, oh my god, I was so pissed off at myself. I don't even know what the fuck I was thinking because cut is such a shitty move anyway, and it doesn't even affect it. But there was no way I was going to come back from this anyway because uh, all I had left was poison powder, which, and he's poison type, so I wouldn't have poisoned him, and just grass moves, which weren't very effective. So here comes my hairy armor. The, uh, I start with Hariyama and I end with him. Sludge Bomb takes me out. So, thanks for that battle, Jake. It was a good battle. Um, I took out two of his Pokemon and he completely wiped my ass. So, anyway, see you guys for the next video. Bye.